is everyone doing this week? So it is Wednesday, June 7th, as I am doing this voiceover. And I just wanted to do um, show you guys a couple of items on Amazon. Um, I watch Nail Slay by Val a lot, and she highly recommends this brand of gel polish. And so um, I went ahead and got myself some. I thought the glitter in it was going to be a little bit different. I didn't really pay attention and realize that it was holographic. I thought it was going to be like this silver shimmery, um, like fine glitter in this um, these nude colors. But either way, they ended up being really gorgeous. So it's from the brand RARJSM. And I did get three of these colors. It swatches very lovely. Um, and it's very easy to use. And I can honestly see why she loves their nudes so much. They are transparent and they are like jelly nudes. But after a couple of coats, they look so gorgeous. And you're going to see that coming up. I also wanted to thank everyone that who has commented on my giveaway video. I really, truly appreciate all of you, and I can't wait to get that out and close out my giveaway and see who wins. Um, I know all of you are very deserving, um, and I'm just really excited about it. <laughs> but anyway, um, here are the other two colors. They're like a peachy nude and a pink nude. Um, I'm really into more of like the pink colors, but I really like all of these including that light pink or that light mauve color like they're just really really pretty and you know the camera is not going to pick up the glitter like it should but they're very beautiful <laughs> um i also got this makar all in one gel x or yeah gel lux kit so it's actually um like the 3d sculpting gel almost but you can use it as extension gel similar to poly gel and all kinds of things it's just really, really awesome. So it comes with this McCart mini lamp, which I actually included in my giveaway because I already have one. Your normal top coat and base coat. I kept this cuticle pusher because I think I love this tool on the end and I actually don't have a cuticle pusher like this. Um, and it's just very easy to get around and under those um, cuticles and all that good stuff. So I also like that it's metal and it's very sturdy and the handle actually is not rubber. Um, it actually is like um, they painted like the steel pink. And so, yeah, it's really, really pretty. And then um, just a couple of miscellaneous items like the dual forms. I just go ahead and throw that those in the trash, to be honest. I never use dual forms and I don't give them away because I just don't like to use them. And they're supposedly beginner friendly. I just don't think they're that beginner friendly. But as you can see here from the tips, it tells you how long to cure and the different ways that you can use the gel. gel sorry. So um, and then just your other normal standard things like um, your nail file and then it also came with that nice little which I have a lot of those um, because I use 3d sculpting gel a lot so I already have a lot of the silicone tools that it came with as well and I think I also included that in my giveaway but yes so here are the four colors that come in this kit it is $32.99 on Amazon and I was highly debating on buying it or not, but then I saw Nail by Brandy use it. And there are a couple of other colors on Amazon as well, like Dusty Rose and um, another color that I've been eyeballing that I'm going to buy separately. And it is under the same link that is linked down below. And also it came with these really, really cool um, molds. So you can make your own charms with it as well. And I thought that was really awesome because then you can paint it, you can mold, you can, it's like rounded, like you can make them rounded to your finger and all kinds of things. Very, very awesome. So today's video was actually a request from a follower on Instagram. She is one of my nail sisters and I was super excited um, <laughs> that she requested that I record this. I posted a few of these sets on Instagram and she was like, D are you doing a video? So <laughs> um, that's actually one of the first times I've ever had that happen where someone was like, did you make a video of this? Can you record it? Um, so yeah, this is basically the process and how I did this type of design. And so thank you for that request. I did enjoy making this video. It's so easy to do. It's literally so quick. So I am going in with this Model 1's white gel polish. I'm going to do two coats of this. And the reason why I'm using this gel polish is because I like the inhibition layer on it. 
It isn't too sticky, but it's sticky enough for some pigment powder to stick to it very well. Um, and so that's why I'm using this color. It is also a very pretty white if you want to use it in general. Um, you will have to do a couple of coats with it. I wouldn't say it's like one coat coverage if you do it in very thin layers, but I, um, I do apply that in thin layers because I want the layers to cure all the way. So yeah, I really, really love this white from Model 1s. It's, it's just really pretty. Um, and um, it's very pure, even though it's not as highly pigmented as some people might like. It's, it's a very, very pretty white and it doesn't cure, like it doesn't yellow or anything like that. So very easy to use. And then um, I also like the consistency of it as well. So here are the pigment powders. I got these off Amazon as well, and I will leave everything linked down below in the description box, of course, um, of what I use. So um, it has these really pretty like pink and orange colors. I wanted to do just standard colors because in my sets that I posted on Instagram, I use these metallic and I was almost getting ready to use the green and gold again because I really love that set. Like that was my favorite one. Um, but yeah, these are very easy to open and similar to how I um, organize my glitters. If you guys watch that video, uh, these already came in the stacks and I love these little stacks because they're so easy to store in my drawer and um, they're very simple to use. I just open them up in the order that I... Um, not the order that I want to use them, but I open them up in the order that they're stacked. So that way, when I go to put everything back together, I can remember the order that they go in. Um, and yeah, and I'm not mix, match, mix, mix matching colors because as you can see, they do have those sill protectors and sometimes they get stuck under the lid of the one on top of it. And so I just didn't want like the powder falling down into the other one and getting all mixed up like orange with pink or red and things like that. So um, for each set, I did go in with a tricolor combination. I use three different colors for each of them. And then I just go in and randomly, um, you can see me patting the pigment powder onto the nail. And the reason why I do that is because when you go to blend them together or you're getting ready to um, get closer to the next color, if you pat them on, it doesn't um, smear or stick per se. Um, you have to actually like rub them together once you have everything patted down where you want it, uh, which helps with the blending process and makes them blend a lot easier after you have the nail completely covered versus um, blending or pressing down too hard or varnishing it into that tacky layer of the gel polish. And yeah, I just think it just makes for a lot more seamless blend. So um, after, like you can see, I have all of the colors um, patted down and I'm just going through and now I am blending them out because I know there aren't going to be any sticky open areas left on the inhibition layer of the gel polish. So um, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier to blend. Some of these I kind of wish I would have used different colors to blend. Um, I felt like the really dark reddish pink was uh, maybe too much of a contrast for the orange and the lighter pink that I use, but I already started so I just kept going with these three colors. That's kind of how I am. Um, if I start with something, I just go ahead and make it work because I'm not about to redo everything. <laughs> um, and then on each nail, I just make sure that I do a different color, like not color combination, but I do a different pattern. Um, you can see how I go in with this fan brush after I have everything on and then I just make sure to get off any of the excess pigment powder. So one thing I love about pigment powder is when you go to top coat it, it does not get stuck in your top coat. As long as you're wiping off all of that excess pigment powder, it's it's on the nail and it's there to stay. And I, I personally have never had any problems with it getting stuck in my top coat. Even when I'm using the metallic pigment powders, they were really easy to use. Um, they're not like chrome powders at all that can kind of pick up in your top coat and leave that little bit of excess 
even if you don't want it to. So uh, yeah, once you brush them off, they're usually pretty good to go. Um, but I do go ahead and apply my top coat very gently um, because on the second nail here, um, I noticed that I went to press down a little bit too hard instead of float my top coat on. And I did get a little bit of brush strokes in that nail because I just kept going over it again and again with the top coat and pressing down a little bit too hard towards the top. But uh, we're going to go ahead and go in with a design over the top of these pigment powders. So I, I didn't really care. <laughs> um, and then for all of the extra nails that I include in my press-on sets, um, in my press-on sets, I always do 20 nails. And then um, for the other nails or the other sizes, I um, kind of use my own fingers as a guide for the main hand. Um, I feel like I have a pretty wide range of just like I don't want to say normal but uh, a wide range of like standard size nails um, that more people have or seem to have so yeah like a size four or five three uh, my nails are like a size one I know a lot of people have bigger thumbs that kind of thing Okay, crisis averted. I almost left this part out of the video. <laughs> I know it makes the video a little bit longer, but it is an important step and an important part of what I wanted to do. So I am using Zule's um, liner gel. Her, her gels are a no wipe, so when you care them, they don't have a tacky layer. So you could leave your nails like that, but I still go in with top coat. Um, at the end of my design and even on any of my other designs that I use this gel One thing I will say is it is very highly pigmented and you do not need a thick layer of this gel at all Like it will cure on this first nail. I did send the lines a little bit too thick um, on on actually on the first three nails um, But I was able to go ahead and go in and correct that but you do not need much of this stuff at all and you can get very thin lines and very precise lines with this liner gel like it is it is amazing <laughs> um i really love zule's products i literally only have a few of her things like her blooming gel and i have like i believe six of these colors like i got the black white gold and silver and then i got a couple of her um they're not reflective but they're super super shiny i actually use them in my capricorn zodiac set um, they, they are very, very highly pigmented and they're super beautiful. So if you do have this stuff or you want to purchase these, um, I would highly recommend that you do not use thick layers at all, especially of the black or the white. They will do everything you need in the littlest amount. And so, um, yeah, and they come in these really nice little pots, just like other liners and, um, yeah, highly, highly pigmented. But for this part of the design, um, I do go ahead and use, um, I try to do a different design on every single nail and I do achieve that and you will see that in the final look. So stay tuned. But, <laughs> um, I do, um, just, it's very whimsical. It's just like, it's like you're zoomed in on a butterfly, um, wing, a butterfly wing is what it's kind of like represents or, or looks like and when I go in with the next part of the video uh, where I put the little white dots on and things like that it is it just brings the whole set together um, and also in the next part you'll see where I had a little bit of wrinkling I did end up fixing that like I mentioned and wiping it off um, and we'll get into that here in a little bit but yeah, you one the one key thing that I wanted to mention about this design is that you do not want any pointy edges. You can have pointy edges, don't get me wrong. You can make lines that look like squares or triangles just like this, however you want, that kind of thing. But I feel like with softer edges, it just kind of completes the look. So I do make sure to round out all of the edges and um, also changing the thickness of your line. If you do every single line the exact same size, it might look a little bulky or it's not going to give it possibly the depth that you're looking for. Um, so yeah, here is what all the black lines look like and here is what all the extras look like after they are top coated and they just look so amazing already but we're just going to go in and finish off the set um, I am finally using these little palettes um, I actually already ruined one of these <laughs> I got a white one and a purple one off of Shein in my Shein haul in case you missed that video as well um, but yeah I 
really like these because if you just need just a tiny bit of gel polish, it really helps you keep that under control. <laughs> um, so I'm going in with my Beatles white liner gel because I really like the consistency. It's not, it's super pigmented, but it's not so thick that, um, it leaves like little strands or strings when you take your dotting tool off, you know, like sometimes those little strands or strings that pull off of the thicker gel, um, can kind of be annoying and leave little marks where you don't want them. But this Beatles liner gel is everything. I talk about it all the time and I use it in my videos all the time. Um, <laughs> but, um, I just go in on the thicker parts of the black lines and just make my little dots here. As you can see, um, I really love this nail. This nail was one of my favorites I really like the design on this nail <laughs> um, but yeah and then as of course as you go along you just want to make sure the pressure that you're using on your dotting tool like I just kind of wiped off the design in that corner because I felt like the white dots were too much um, but they also kind of not only give the design so even more depth but it also kind of gives you like um, an idea of how the butterfly wing might be facing and different things like that so uh, make sure to take your ring off before you cure because that is how I ruined my purple one. Um, I had rhinestone glue on it and I went to stick my nails in the lamp and then um, in went my my nail or in went the uh, palette and cured the rhinestone glue to my palette. So yeah, <laughs> do not recommend that. <laughs> um, please don't do what I do. <laughs> but as you can see, I have buffed off all of the Zule um, liner gel because it was just way too thick and I'm going in with my Beatles liner gel and honestly the coverage was just the same um so yeah highly recommend both uh, but the Zule's liner gel will definitely get the job done very quickly and very easily and you just want to have a really light hand when you're using it um, so that way it cures all the way but I find the Beatles one cures a little bit easier if you don't want to keep correcting your mistakes like me. <laughs> so that's all. Um, so yeah, I did go in with the Beatles liner gel and this is just looking so, so cute. Um, I just really, really love this set. You guys, I make mistakes all the time and I don't mind fixing them at all because I am a bit of a perfectionist. I kind of talked about how I'm like type A personality and that is so true. And if I don't like something, I will do it like 500 times until I get it right. Like that's just how I am. I feel like some people just have it in them or they don't. And people that don't, it doesn't mean I don't like them or I don't get along with them. It just means that, um, maybe we have to be friends from a distance. <laughs> um, like I could never hire someone to help me do my press ons because I'm like, if they don't do it how I like it or the way I like it, I'll literally just throw it in the trash and they did all that hard work for nothing type of thing. So yeah, um, I just, everything has to be 100% how I like it. You know, um, yeah, just, it just is what it is. That's just how I am period in general. So, um, but yeah, so now I'm just going in, of course, with my favorite top coat from the Nail Matrix. Um, the previous top coat that I used was, was from Castini, and I just have a ton of that, and it's super affordable because I've been buying all these gel polish kits that you will also see in an upcoming video. You guys, I have like six or seven videos lined up because I just have so many to do so i'll be pushing out a bunch of videos hopefully back to back this week or as much as i can when i get can get some quiet time to do a voiceover but this is what the set is looking like and thank you so much to kristen for requesting this video once again and thank you all for being the best part of my channel and i will see you in my next video